All right, well, planning on our next uh, mode of attack here, uh, I've gone ahead and changed one of these Elmencos here. I'll test it later on, but it's just it's just bad. I'll go in and replace a couple capacitors, scrape the leads and the connections, and we'll just tack a couple in here. I did notice, though, on the uh, vertical output transformer that's been changed, someone did write, you can see the glare there, but someone did write red and green. They wrote green right here. Yeah, you can see that in the shadow. They, someone wrote green there and then they wrote red right here. So it says red. That says red and that says green. So we'll clean this mess up and heat shrink these these wires and change out a couple of Menkos. I this isn't related to the problem we're having, but whenever anything is, is bad, I like to change it. So we'll we'll set the stage there. I was told also to look at the contrast control. There's a one, 1K one resistor here. And uh, a contrast control there. Because that, provi that provides the ground for the uh, this whole bank of controls. Okay, here's where we are. On the Magnavox at this point, I, I went ahead and changed the Almencos just because most of them are popped out of the ends and they're all waxy. We'll uh, we'll test those later. I did just go ahead and uh, tack in one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five replacements. This wire here had heat shrink. Uh, I mean, had tape on it because someone had hit it with the soldering iron, so I had to pull that out and mend that. Uh, this is the only cap I haven't changed, but I don't have no re I don't have any reason to. Um, and th this tape is here because there was some evidence of arcing uh, underneath here. You could there's some carbon on the uh, the plate of the output tube there. So someone's just gone ahead and I scraped it a little bit, but under this tape it's a little black there. So there perhaps was some arcing taking place there so we may revisit that later but it's not a problem at the moment uh, again I had to be careful of what we call this here doesn't look very good either this connection here I may touch that up lead poisoning and whatnot and I, I heat shrunk the uh, replacement vertical transformer leads because they were just electrical tape and falling off and I cleaned up around the sockets I did some on some I did the jump, the twist, the just a cut and fold over method, and because uh, you know you get around these sockets here, you, you can get into trouble. So I usually just cut the leads and 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 mechanically fasten it and then solder it. So that's where we're at. Looks like I have one more wire here, this black one here. I'm gonna fix up, and then we we have a six GH8 on standby because that's the only tube we haven't changed in this yet. And we're just gonna see at least if we're not any worse than what we were. We don't want any anything any worse. We want to check our work here and we'll see if we can get back to where we were momentarily. Okay, our converter box is on, our antenna lead attached. Our Varioc is set to 117. I've gone ahead and added a little 0.01 cap across the uh, on-off switch that helps prevent arcing, make the switch last longer. So here we go. Well, Turn on the variac, turn on the set, and watch our work here. We do have all the tubes in. raster but I don't hear any okay we are rolling I just want to make sure the capacitors we changed went okay it pays to take pictures and write things down I didn't in this case but I did have that yellow wire disconnected and then you short-term memory whatever says well which one did it go to which one of those terminals but I remembered the correct one 
Alright, I have no ver- some vertical lock. No, not really. We're back to where we were, which is okay. It locks- it, 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 it's locking. I'm gonna play with this contrast control. So I don't see we're losing sync there. Play with the contrast. Low contrast, it holds. I'm putting the contrast high, and it starts rolling. So that was a. I'm gonna go up front and do that. Okay, it's doing the jittery stuff, which uh, means it's trying to lock. So you can see that. I don't know if the camera is picking that up. It's jumping, which it tells me. See, it's trying to lock, but it's having a little bit of issue. So, contrast, off, no roll. Turn the contrast, well, it was affecting it, but, yeah, you turn the contrast and it will cause it to, it's not terrible, but, We'll roll the vertical here. Try to lock it in. It's, it's, it's locking at least. It's better than it was. That's with all the original tubes. Let's throw a 6GH8 in there and see what happens. Okay, so to recap, I, I didn't get my VTVM just yet, but um, with the new 6GH8 in there, well not new, another 6GH8 and no signal, I have minus, on the sync separator, minus 3.5, the SAM says minus 7 on the grid, I got minus 3.5, the plate 60, I have 73, point 0.2 on pin 6, I get 1.2 on pin 6, Pin 7.1, I get 0 0.05. Pin 8, 50, that's the plate, I get 47. And 9, which is the plate of the out, the other section, the uh, pentode, is 235. Still high, 190, 235. But we were getting 250, it's still lower than what it was. We were getting 256 and 265. Let's check the uh, waveform for peak to peak. And this is um, with the 6GH8 in there still. Oh, and C45, which was over there, was not leaky. I took it out, and I put it back in because it tests. I'm going to put the tube back in now, and I'm and this is running with a, a different 6GH8 in it. So let's see how the vertical looks. Okay, I've turned the set back on. Disconnect our probe. And turn up some brightness here. rolling. Let's see if we can lock it in. Oh, we have uh, and it locks in pretty darn good. Let's go around front. It seems to be locking in okay. I'm gonna let this play a little while. Hey, I'm just doing a range on the control here. It seems to have a lot more bing in it so to speak, and then go up and it doesn't roll with the control way up and it doesn't, then go down, then go up, then go up and it still holds, then go down, I'll center it, now listen the signal a little bit, I'm going to put the old 6GH8 in and see what it does. Okay, picture's locked in still. And I'm going to go to TP1 and we have about minus 3 volts on it. So is that the AGC? That's minus, minus 3 volts at this point right here. 
just on focus. So right here I have minus 3 volts. And I have about 6 volts with the tube out peak to peak on that video. Where is that video pulse? Right here it says 8.5. I get about 6 with a little bit of noise there, that video noise. I don't understand this either, why this is 220 volts 30 cycles, this is 8.5 volts 30 cycles taken from the same point. I, I don't understand that. Maybe someone can clear that up. Now, if this keeps behaving, I will try to adjust in a few minutes the vertical lin and the vertical size just to see how it acts. Okay, I'm back on the Magnavox. I was trying to mimic what Dave WM is doing. I have um, the probes on pin 2 and pin 3 of the sink separator tube. I had to invert this one, but uh, in any event, 20 volts, it's a 10, a 2, I assume this is right, but I can't understand. Okay, so here's how it looks on my set. I am on the grid of the sink separator with V9 pulled, the grid. And I know it's inverted, but there's my pulse and I'm on 2 volts per division. So I have, yeah, I have just about 2, 4, just under 6. Okay, the set's been running a little while. I'm going to try to adjust the, the vertical size a little bit here. see how it holds and uh, I'll do the uh, vertical lin Back to the vertical size here. Now I'll go to the vertical hold. This is this is really good. That's me. I'm getting ready to put this back in the cabinet finally. Okay, so this thing's been running now for at least an hour, and it's, I've got the video, the vertical really stretched, and uh, I can turn this vertical hold, and it, it uh, it'll still stay locked. It'll vary the picture up and down a little bit, but it won't. It locks really good, and then there's plenty of playroom. So uh, I'm gonna call this a, a fix. Is it the ground on the GH8? The 6GH8? Do the Almenco replacements help the pulses off the flyback? I, I, I don't know. We'll, more on that later. Thanks for watching.